Hello guys, welcome back to Remnant from the Ashes. This is Elogical as always, and today we are going to actually... Ah, we're going to do the Earth Campaign, right? So, I've been trying to figure out how we're going to do this, because the game is so heavily RNG related. I was thinking the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to do the... Right, so we'll go to the settings, right? So we're going to do the campaign as first, right? Yes, I have the game sitting. I haven't actually played in this, so I haven't. Right, so we're going to do the Earth campaign, and then we're going to go through the adventure mode for the camp for Earth as well. So we are because the campaign has everything that Earth that the adventure mode has, and vice versa. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the campaign first, and then we're going to do the Earth adventure mode to get all of the individual pieces because there is so much that can easily be missed. So obviously, part one is going to be Earth campaign. Part two is going to be Earth adventure mode. You know what I mean? So. That's how I'm going to work it, and then we'll try and sort of throw in a wee survival mode every now and then if we can get a team together. So, yeah, that there's the general plan here, so we're going to go do Earth first. Right, let's go then. So yeah, we're going to do the campaign first, because that seems like the more sensible option for us. So it does, um, seems to, uh, it, it does consider to be the most uh, sensible option. As it says, uh oh, well now I know how to do the, um, the weapon arc, or weapon arc, Jesus Christ, the ability. I stopped playing this game for two minutes, and all of a sudden I can't do shit. Right. So, ah, yes. Piece of gear. It's a survive, or uh, the drifters, sorry. So, I think the helmet's just sort of out there, like it's out in the world. Like, that, I think that there's probably one of the only mandatory grabs, but not so much mandatory. Can I pick this up, please? Can I pick this up, please? Ward, ward 13 card. Oh, yeah. Right, so Ward 13 card. There is something what we can use that there. But I want to check the drifter setup. So, Wanderer, right? Sprinting for one second, invading or slicing. Sliding adds one stack of Interia. Interia? Interia stacks increases range and melee damage. Maximum 5 stacks last 10 seconds. Increased mana, stamina regeneration. So we can get up to 5 stacks, which is a 15% damage increase, which does not even come close to matching what, I'm, I, what I have versus what I ha need it for. So again, remember I was explaining about the headshots? That's why we went with this one here, because we are going to be leaning heavy on headshots, so we are. So <clears throat> we can, if we do this right and get a load of weakness points, we can weakness point kills oh that's actually a really good start actually because we've got a very good person to actually talk to now because he gives you two items that are actually substantial boosts so you can see the map there on the top right hand corner right so general idea is you want to try and search every nook and cranny simply due to the fact of there are items everywhere and i mean everywhere from anything from scrap to weapon upgrades, to armors, rings, you name it, it has it. And trust me, smacking shit really does tend to help. Because the more scrap you have, the better. Hence the reason a good idea is to actually stick with your starting gear so it does. So, the way these maps are laid out, there is a... As far as I'm aware, there's, the way it works is, there's two side dungeons and then there's a a progression dungeon, so there is. Ah, oh, that failed miserably. There's two side dungeons, and then there's a progression dungeon. All of them with their own unique bosses, randomly generated bosses, you name it, it has it. It's that kind of, it's that way that it works. That was a crit and a weakness shot, too. Like, that is how you, that, that's, hitting the weak points is what, how you're going to scale your damage. I see a berserker in the distance. Let's piss him off at a distance. This guy gives me a heart attack every time I see him, but this guy's a big, like he's heavily armored and he just runs at you. This is the definition of a fucking berserker, so it is. You can see why I decided to take this guy on from a range, because no harm, fighting this guy up close is suicide. And the thing is, a lot of people will notice is there is actually one of the <laughs> I'm nearly sure that he made so many people rage quit. His name is Gorefist by and Gorefist is a fucking savage. So he is. He takes no shit 
from nobody. So this is one of the side areas I was talking about because if you look at the way that the map stretches out, it goes around in a circle. So this is actually one of the side dungeons that I was talking about. So let's go and have a see, shall we? Now the question is, what side dungeon have we got? So let's hit the checkpoint first. So this is obviously where your co-op is. This is basically your equivalent of bonfires and shit like that there. So something pass, okay. Is this... Ah, uh, Marrow Pass, right. Hang on. I've got an idea of what might need to be done here. Alright, all blocked off. Right, come on then. Iron. It just means that it's, it's this is just upgrade materials. Right, what? Is it? Ah, it's one of you guys. He buffs up his compadres and hits like a shot. <sighs> As of right now, I'm still Dark Souls in the brain because I'm literally playing this after finishing up Dark Souls. So. Yeah, I'm a little bit Dark Souls of the Rain at the minute. So I am. Um, that is one of the special enemies in the game that are not the nicest to fight. He's even worse because he throws fucking rock balls at you. Oh, I took out. I did. I actually somehow managed to take him out. It was more the explosion took him out because that there. Is. So there you need to avoid them because they can flick rot on you, which is basically what it what they do is basically animation break you or it animation breaks you so it does. Then you get the hearts, right? They're not what we're here for because there's a there's somebody I need to talk to. Damn it. That's a tome of knowledge, so basically it's just like a free skill point. And um, what would be an what would be an accurate um reference for that? Um, it's just a skill point that you pick up, I guess. It would be the it would be the most accurate term to use. It's just a skill point that you pick up. But yeah, um, aye, root rot. That's what it's called. The last thing you want is to get root rotted. I'll put it like that there, because it is, it's it breaks your animation, so it does. So if you're dodging, rolling, reloading, basically, it will force you to cough. And if you cough, it's just a complete animation break. So it is, and it can re if you're in a boss fight, and score fist, if you're in a boss fight, it can really quickly mess you up faster than you can think. No, because there's a cultist down here, so there is, that I want to have a chat with. There also should be, a, like, a chest as well. Ah, ha! Right, so, they, right, can you hear me? And basically, he jabbers on about, can you hear the root? You here to commune with the root? Yeah, here to, uh, basically, he's a psychotic dude who has been corrupted. Listen, anywhere you look, you know the whole cultist idea? This is this guy. The root came to... The path is narrow. Most will die. But those predestined will live. It is. We have is that where you are here? The root. You doubt me. I await your sovereign right, mercy. so he gives me the root circlet, right? So that there's a ring that you can immediately equip. Increases melee speed by 15%. I await your sovereign mercy. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to piss him off. Because that there's one way of getting that. Right, so that there's the root circlet. And you piss him off by killing the big hearts. And that's exactly what we're about to do. But I'm kind of scared to do it. Because this shit spawns a lot of enemies. So it does... Um... This, is, this could get rough real fucking quick for me. I probably should have picked up a fire shot, to be honest, but fuck it! Yeah, you see my point here? This can get rough real quick. That's one down. The extra scrap's also nice, like it's basically it's like a mini objective, so it is. 
but as you can tell it's it's rough simply due to the fact that the requirements for it is a little bit dodgy so it is um you have to burn through a lot of ammo to kill them and i really should have used my hunter's mark on it but i didn't and this guy's gonna be severely pissed off at me now yep Gotta love human fucking fanatic day. Eh? Oh, am I? Why am I dumb? And now we got braided thorns. So we just got a double whammy off that there. So braided thorns increase crit chance by 10%, gain, gain an additional 10% for 10 seconds after slaying an enemy. Basically, it's a 20% crit chance, flat crit chance ring if you have consistent killing going on. Um, problem is, is we don't have much in terms of ammo right now, so we're going to use an ammo box. These things, these, see ammo boxes? Lifesavers. Trust me. Absolute lifesavers, so they are. Right, so we're going to pop Hunter's Mark, and then we're going to wheel on this thing so we are. Oh yeah, Jesus Christ, we're getting trip points like nothing ordinary, so we are, that is glorious, and as I say, we've already got damage increase thanks to that little the crit boy, so it's a little bit of an advantage, like I'm not gonna lie, and we're also stacking up trade, uh, trade points as well, which is an odd big bonus, is there, is there only two in here, I think there is actually, if there's only the two hives, I'm gonna be very happy about that, like, so we killed that hive, killed that hive, and then the ah, and then there's the root cultist. So there was the two hives and then the root cultist. So basically, we've read up the side dungeon and we've got two rings for our for our problems. Right, and because we did rest, the enemies will have respawned at this point. So yeah, and uh, yeah, this is what I mean. It is Dark Souls with guns. But that actually that so you get a. Let me just read that ring again real quick. So that's a flat temp, right, so increase crit chance by 10, and then get an additional 10%. So that brings us up to a whopping total of 10, that there's 30% crit chance. And as you can see, since I upgraded my weapon, I've now got an extra 0.5. So yeah, hmm, good start. I'm not going to deny that for a fact. I need headshots here. Now, is Big Bad and Ugly back? I don't see him. I do see his friends though. Oh, headshot. Absolutely clutch. So yeah, each weapon sort of, a lot of the weapons fall into certain categories of weapons. So they do. Like I'm not gonna, like each weapon has a unique use case. Oh, and there it is. So there is. Each weapon has a unique use case. Right, I don't need you spawning while I'm trying to deal with this guy. Thank you very much, no harm. Fighting him on top of you is not a good idea. Ooh, more stuff, more stuff. Give me more iron. Boo, and yeah, and more iron. Definitely gonna be taking it. Any defense is good defense. Any offense is good offense. Right. Okay, we're good. We're absolutely Gucci. So now we're into the what I'm going to call the progression dungeon is what I'm going to call it because this is the dungeon that you have to go through to progress on to the next area. So as it says, one side dungeon, one progression dungeon. Or is it, again, I, I'm not 100% sure because I think, eh, I'm not going to lie, my memory is a little bit rusty on it, so it is. So, let's rest up. Right, we're in the sunken passage. Sunken passage, is that the archer? I don't remember. Anyway. There's an there's any item right, so items, so rings, armors and stuff are in purple. So they are so now we know that there's an item up here. I don't I don't think it's a gun. It's the gunslinger's charm. So this thing right here is just a straight DPS increase as far as I'm, I'm aware. So it is, so Gunslinger Charm increased fire rate by 15% and reload speed by 20%. <laughs> like, how do you argue with that? 
You can, but that's how. So yeah, I am a very happy man. I say this is just oh, it feels nice being back to Revenant, so it does. And the fact that there's a second one coming out by it, because in fairness, realistically, this game just it didn't launch as well as it should have, and it, it it's pure blasphemy because this game's gunplay and sword play, even the melee play on it is just so fucking clean. So it is. It's just such an underrated game. So it is. It is a gem. Still going. Yeah, see, I'm playing a very accuracy based playstyle right now, so um, which is a bit. Eh. Oh, another ammo box. That is just clutch. So it is. That's another trade point. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Absolute boo and ya. Yeah. I think you have to shoot these guys in the mouth to get an actual weak point to kill on them. Nope, nothing there. Okay then, moving on. Yeah, you probably noticed that I am playing very fucking carefully, simply due to the fact that um the game is as random as it gets. So it is. The game is actually random. Whenever whenever I see if the randomness gets too much for you, trust me. And it will sometimes. There's just shit spawning from places that you didn't even know could spawn. So playing carefully and smart in this game is, well, technically the same as Dark Souls. Don't get over fucking confident. Because this game will kill you just as fucking quick. Maybe not as ruthlessly, but it will make very damn quick work if you if you're not careful. And it, I do mean it will make very quick work if you if you're not careful. You'll see that I'm always watching my back at times. Because Sometimes there's enemies that can spawn behind you, and the last thing you're expecting is an asshole to spawn behind you. Or in front of you in this case. Yeah, I didn't want to take any scrap I can get my hands on, thank you. You will notice I do keep luck to watch my back because, again, you don't know whenever somebody's going to crawl up your ass. So you don't. Yeah, I think I'll take out the explodey guys first. They're just too, they're too dangerous to let loose. Between their explosive, between their explosive damage and then their rot. Because if you walk into their um, mist. It's not as bad, the build up isn't as scary, but see whenever they blow up on contact, that's whenever you need to worry, because that's whenever there's a mass, like it's like a dump of, like it basically, basically two thirds, about, uh, about two thirds fills your bar instantly. So it does, and that's, that's the last thing you're gonna want in this, in this scenario. In this scenario, that's a death sentence. So it is it's the same as that guy's um, arrows as well. If his if his arrows hit you point blank, they'll blow up. Screw the delayed detonation. No, they blow up on point blank and they will kill you. Stone dead. So the well. But I'm quite happy that we got that gunslinger charm. That gunslinger charm has just helped with fire rate and just just DPS. And then the reload speed as well is just an extra big give me more thank you. Right, what are my fighting today? Sunken passage, I don't remember. Right, where are we? Ah, 
Undead's Gore Fist. So, yeah, this is the boss that uh, has made mel many, 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 many people quit before. And you're about to see why this dude is. not Remember that beast that we were talking about? Yeah. Cunt got an upgrade. And this cunt doesn't have any weakness points either. Oh shit. The explosive shits are spawning. And this is the point where you wish you had the shotgun. Oh, you bitch. Okay, then that was a little bit rough. I'm not even going to deny that. I was very close to catching my death there. He chunked me like nothing ordinary there. He t hit me twice and I near died. Okay, then. That's just a bit rough. Right. Okay, so that was just a pinch rough. So, so now we have a right. So now we have a free zone. So we're going to talk to this chap in this. Um, he's a sniper basically, and he likes to sit in his little helicopter, and well, shoot people. But he sells two very, very important items, and I'm going to buy those two exact items off him right now, because they are incredibly, incredibly useful. But. Eh, no, we'll just continue on. I'll take, I'll, I'll do that there before we start the next major area, or before we do the adventure mode. Right, Mudtooth is his name, and you need to exhaust all of his dialogue, and I'll show you what. Right, Mudtooth, come on. Come in, come Let's go. Come on. And this whole life. <laughs> I cooked up. I'd like to see your wares. Right, so the Mudtooth stew. Is a 25 increase by 25 for 60 minutes. These are our long buffs, so they are our long buffs, and they increase your health and stamina. There are several of these throughout the game, several that do several different things that just are straight massive increases. So they are. So let me just do this here. Right? I need to stop doing that. There, square is to skip. Square. X. What kind of stories do you got, right? So burn through all of his story dialogue. Don't know what saw the whole you probably got let's see. I just keep pressing X. Cause this I think I timed it one day by this takes a fucking ten minutes to do. If you listen to absolutely everything he says, it takes about ten minutes. So it does. Well shoot. Move this four cents. What until Come on. Oh, he ain't. Ah, look. Let's see. Ace and what? I hear they don't hear me. But that you probably. All right. This is funny. We're in hard. I never. Yeah, you see my point now, so you do. It's been a long time. This look ain't no time. And then he gives you the pocket watch. The pocket watch is, funnily enough, um. Both a quest item as well as an item that you actually need to get for an achievement. So that will actually get you an achievement sort of well. But the fact that he is in my campaign on the first area makes me very happy. So if he's not here in your campaign, it means that you have to go through adventure mode to find him. And trust me, getting those two hour long buffs is insanely powerful. Plus, at the same time, hang on, he gave me a pocket watch, did he not? Was it? Ah, oh, it's a necklace, right? So, stamina regen and reduce the stamina cost. But. Versus the Gunslinger Charm. Don't get me wrong, it's probably a good one to have. Give me that there. Um, it's probably a good one to have, but as it sits right now, you. 
And yeah, I, I'm not arguing to the boost. That's just more stats for me. So it is. Now, back at it we go. Oh, that's another thing. Fuck me. Sideways. You nearly think this game wants me dead, wouldn't you? The extra health is definitely going to help. And I haven't used up any trade points because I'm currently saving them. Right, I need the headshot. You're not crit, you mate. I need the headshots, not the crits. Right. Lumen taste, or whatever crystal. It's just a luminescent crystal. Ooh, item. That's what we want. That's that's what we want. So we're gonna go through here now. God only knows what is actually in this area. That's the problem. I would say it's like you can get ambushed at any point, at any second, by any number of enemies. It is it's, the game's not cruel per se. It is fair. It can just be difficult to traverse at times. So it can. The game's not cruel until you actually decide to make it cruel by um, doing super shit. Sound fair? Good. Right, so there's our item. But I'm making sure that we're gathering up everything else. So we are, because iron, we need to upgrade armor for defense and weapons for damage. That's kind of self explanatory. Bandages is to heal bleeding. Basically, if you're bleeding, you get reduced life recovery, and bleeding is just not very good. Right, what is this? Pillar of Stone. Show me what we've got here. Pillar of Stone. Reduces recoil and weapon sway while standing aim movement speed is increased. By okay, so if you're a sniper, that's what you use. Can you not? Thank you. So if you're a sniper, that's what you use. Okay, that I can live with at least. I don't, I, funny enough, I don't actually have a sniper rifle. I've got a marksman rifle. A little bit different. Sniper rifle's far more powerful, funny enough. So it is, and I do mean far more powerful. A sniper rifle's actually kind of scary whenever you think about it, because there's a lot in the game that really helps with that play style. I have to be careful with my wording here because then if you haven't played it, it's going to be spoiler territory and shit like that there. So I'm trying my best to be nice. We're just going to stick to what we've got. Hello. Bye. Bye. Grab this. No one else in here. Just keep it. It's searching every nook and cranny because there can be am spawning in places that you didn't even think could spawn. And then everything is good because like I says, you need iron to upgrade your weapons. If you don't upgrade your weapons, you're gonna make the game more difficult intentionally for yourself. So, but as I says, Earth isn't too bad. It does have there is a difficult part in this game, but we'll fix. We will be going back to upgrade before that part actually becomes a thing, so we are. Because there is actually a checkpoint before we go. So there is. Who, what, where is spawn? He's behind me anyway. I just love me some headshots. It says, once I get weakness exploit. Basically, it's just going to be a straight up damage increase, and it's going to be beautiful. So, Tish, it is going to be beautiful. Jesus. Actually, I forgot. Uh, the actual campaign Earth is actually a little bit longer than I remember. Uh, sorry, correction. Initially remembered the Earth campaign is actually quite long. <laughs> Damn it. Oh well. We'll get to the halfway point at least. Because the Earth campaign is exceedingly long. Because you completely forgot that there's an area that my brain completely disregarded, funnily enough. Right, I still, I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing any items here. Again, I need headshots. Bingo. Headshot. There could be items sitting under tables. Uh oh. <coughs> Sorry, need to sneeze. That won't hurt me more than it hurt you anyway. Oh, that one tickled. 
No, that's not what I want. Right, well, moving on regardless. As I say, Hunter Mar Hunter's mark's pretty damn strong anyway. That increased the critical strike chance. Um, it's pretty, like, it is substantial. A 10% increase to crit is just an overall damage increase, so it is. As long as you can get the consistent shots in. So it says, yes, and I think. The game can be a little bit long winded, but this is why you go searching because you don't know what you might find or miss. Now, as of right now, we don't have anything that is actually particularly useful in terms of traits. So we don't. Um, that is why we're just sort of stocking them up. We could go into health and just start pumping health in and just making ourselves stronger and stronger. But as of right now, Gore Fist was possibly the most dangerous challenge we had to face. Like he, like the fact that we got Gore Fist at the very start, after me saying that Gore Fist is the one that probably made most of the people rage quit this game, um, is kind of funny. You know what I mean? Just it's nearly like I outright just jinxed myself, and I had a suboptimal setup to kill him, which is again very damn funny. But the fact that we succeeded in killing him just means that the game's not as hard as people do try to make it out to be. And that failed miserably. But I did find an adrenaline, so I'll take that. So I will. I will take that. Right. Do, 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 do. As I said, like, we're scrounging as we like, Trust me, guys, you just want to scrounge as much as possible because you never know what's going to be sitting where you need your upgrade materials you know what i mean like you're proper scrounging so we are that's why we're sort of keeping an eye out for chests and stuff like that there because all scrap is good scrap all iron is good iron you know what i mean I'm just finding it a little bit suspicious that we have. Yeah, I was about to say, I was finding it a little bit suspicious that we didn't run into an enemy there for a hot second. But that changed very quickly. Why I went through one room, or one house, so let's go through the other. Yeah, I am making sure to thoroughly check everyone, because as I said, I'm looking for kills as well. The sooner we get the exploit, or is it called weakness exploit or exploiter? the better because it's just it's going to be more damage and it will help us late game plus exploit will also give us the advantage of not needing to wear this armor anymore for the exploit damage which means that we can when we get better armors we can get well just better armors because <laughs> like needless to say there are better armors in the game like that's kind of a given so there, is, there are better armors in the game it's just making sure that uh, we haven't us having weakness exploit is just it's going to be a good thing to have. Left. Right. Ah, yes. So this is the part. So I'm about to explain this. Here. So this is the part that my brain actually disregarded. So it is funnily enough. So I completely forgot that the halfway point in the Earth campaign was the subway part and my brain completely disregarded that little piece of information so what we're going to do is we're going to get down in here and then we're going to go back and then come back we're going to go back to ward 13 which is just the hub world and then come back down here because there's some things that i want to grab in ward 13. checkpoint Right, am I actually able to leave? I'm nearly sure I am able to leave from here. Yes, I already know what the weapon was. Travel, War 13. Let's go. Right, so from Gorefist, we got a piece of gear from him. So, Gorefist right. has, yes, so Mantle of Thorns is the piece that you get. So, reduces melee damage taken from enemies, reflects 120% of melee damage taken, and reduces stagger on hit. Lasts 60 seconds. Obviously, that does get upgraded over time. But the one that we do want is this one right here. We want hot shot, so we do. I've got work to because do. trust me, hot shot is very much so needed. Uh, let's see. After that there. 
We are going to upgrade our rifle some more. Plus five, and then, yeah, we're on to forge down, so that's now decently more powerful. And our crit chance has increased by 13%. I'll take it. And then we can upgrade our armors. But I don't want to waste that just yet. Um, there's nothing particularly interesting to grab on that side just yet. Hang on. Do you sell those or am I just am I in my you know crafty eye ah, you need glowing fragments to craft them? Okay, never mind, right? So So hot shot is for if you're gonna come across a particularly stubborn enemy, hot shot scales in extremely well, so it does. If you're gonna fight a particularly stubborn enemy. see here because as it says yep look at that shit uh, see, I do have some form of brains I have I, I do have memory to go through this place before like it's like as it says this area is not the nicest I think on my first playthrough ever I died like seven times coming through here simply because I just underestimated the sheer fucking numbers of these guys And then you, you, you get shit like that there that happens too. You know what I mean? Like it's just random shit that happens that just completely catches you off guard. We good, we good. How did I miss you? Oh, you're one of the oily bastards we are. Yeah, a lambent, I think they're called. Basically, whenever you shoot them, they ignite themselves. So they do. And they deal fire damage, which is particularly nasty. Don't test me. Knowledge is power. Even though I'm possibly one of the slightly more useless players in this game. My skill level is nothing like I've seen a couple of the other players pull off. Their level of understanding is also on a different level too. Fucking Matrix dodge there, mate. Ah, oh, now we have one of the hunters. So, yeah, this is one of the guys I was talking about that just randomly creeps up your ass, so it is. So them kind of guys that you're like, right, it's time to whack out the shotgun, like, that's, it's over. that's what the idea is there, you just turn around, whack out the boomstick, and you just blow their head clean off. Well, hypothetically, that's what the point is, but, unfortunately, that's not always how things that work out. don't like no it's not that I don't like this area it's just this area can be dangerous you you just get guys spawning from fucking everywhere and you're just like can I shoot you in the head please damn it sometimes they actually have some manners and they actually just sort of walk nice and slow towards you but if they're a beefcake then you're gonna have some serious issues trying to put that guy down Where did you come from? Like this is what I mean. It's it's one of those things that it just if you're not ready for it, you're going to get caught off guard. And if you get caught off guard, it's going to hurt. Hello, phone. I hear you. What do you want? All right. Okay. Sorry. I'm I'm not here tomorrow. So. 
yeah. Now that's what I'm trying to get as much recording done as possible. And editing as well. Where I got Mondays sorted. Mondays on Tuesdays. Mondays and Tuesdays sorted. So this will be Thursdays, I believe. So it will be. I am um, unlocking more enemies because I'm, I'm just worried. No. Behave. Yeah, I agree. That was fucking rough. Worst part is, is upgrading my weapon, and for the looks of it, it's just done nothing so far. Upgrading it has done zilch. Well, to be fair, my armor isn't exactly boosting my damage, like, so there is that as well. That needs to be taken into consideration. So, yeah. But I'm getting plenty of weak spot kills. As long as I'm getting plenty of weak point kills, I'm okay. Ooh, checkpoint. This I can live with. There's an item there as well. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give me some more. I says all this shit, is like 99.9% .9 of all this hair stuff is all randomly generated. So it's a case of band of cast caster. Sorry, right, I'm going to turn down the phone here so I don't have to turn off the notifications while I'm recording. Cause yeah, right. So band of caster. Let's have a look. See here at this. I think this is a two ring setup, isn't it? Increase melee speed but reduces fire rate. Aye, so this is one of those while wearing band of Polex. Melee damage is increased, invasion speed is increased, and encumbrance is reduced by 25. So yeah, it's one of those two ring combos. That does what I mean. You're starting you're starting to see the sort of the immense detail that goes into this game. So you are. The, the detail is real, guys. Like it's hard to even under underestimate this game like it was heavily underestimated on release and it was an absolute farce that this game did not get the recognition it deserved but at the same time though at the same time it must have got some rec it must have done something right because there's now a second one coming out i think they were also able to make a prequel but i think it was being developed alongside this one so it was i need to keep looking behind me because i don't want to get caught by an all hunter I'm just being super fucking careful. That's an alarm. I'm not. I'm not even joking. I'm waiting for an all hunter to spawn. So I am. I'm not even joking. Sorry guys, did I disturb your nap? I don't even apologize because you're just you're oh my god. Access to the Shut your mouth. Oh you're a bitch. Fucking Matrix dodges here, look. Oh, it's over. Let's get a little bit of health recovery going, shall we? Uh. Alright, where about are we now? Now it says this is one of the more dangerous areas, but it says we're trying to farm up headshots. we are. Oh, did I already wake you up? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Just keep flooding my way though. That just saved me a whole lot of bother. Instead of trying to friggin' play zombies, we using corral you around. And I'll be taking that. Full of knowledge, it's not a trade point. I shall happily accept. Just as frenzy dust that there works as well. I'm not going to argue. Right, what's over here? 
There's more iron and stuff. Oh, some scrap. And that's a dead end. That's the continuation. Dead end. And then, alright, we're back to round again. Right? Ah, yes, there's our eggs. Absolutely glorious. So, yeah, that was fun. So, it was. Um, a bit dangerous on it, but fun. And we're out of here. After taking that damage, though, I'm really tempted to start upgrading the armor, though. Right. Now, if I am correct, this is going to be the most difficult part. Yep. Oh, boy. Uh, this is this is this is this is one of those areas that you're just you know it just no this is one of those ones that it's just no and this is why I brought the flame rounds go and pop that then pop this and then go to town because this is basically we have defense and we also meet the root mother so we do so that there's another achievement knocked off too. I don't care about the Roots Council, I'm here to see you. I'm here to remove you from said tree. Yes, this will help. They will remove you. Prepare. Let's party. Two archers have spawned. Shit. The system headshot space is what you like to see. Oh, I just you go straight for the root mother asshole. That's right, this changes it to fire stacks. I don't know, I'm not sure. This is whenever the problems start creeping in. Woo-wee! Root Mother saves the day. Oh, it was a... Uh, oh, it was a pinch rougher than I wanted it, I'm not gonna lie. It was a... Uh, it's rougher than I anticipated. Not arguing like, but definitely a pinch rougher. Not having a running out of ammo was definitely not the best thing to have happened there. Come on, talk faster. <coughs> yes, yeah, sure, I'll meet you in the ward. Right, meet Root Mother in the ward. Mother's blessing. Okay. That is not a trait that we've acquired, so I'm not going to argue too much about that. Dismiss that, that's irrelevant. Right, let's go to the basement of said church, and we'll point out something very fun. Sniper rifle! Already plus two as well. Absolutely. 
more stuff. Right, so let me show you here real quick what the sniper rifle is like. So, whereas our the sniper rifle is a single fire, high, high damage single shot scope. Let me see. Ah, right, so you have to double tick. And it gives you your sniper rifle. So, so the sniper rifle playstyle is a little bit different to what everything else is because it's a single fire long range style build. Simply the entire gimmick of the build is to be able to snipe your opponent at a distance and do heavy damage. So it can work in this game by yourself, if you are by yourself that is. It can work, but it does it far 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 performance it just straight i'm going i'm saying far 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 it's like brain just went <laughs> basically it is better in a multiplayer setting english would you work but yeah that's that's us at the midway point of the Earth campaign. Can't argue with that. Right. Root Mother should be over in Heather. Aha, here she is. Greetings, child, yes. You 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 look a little bit worse for wear there, model. See, I need I so I need a simulacrum as well as ten of the luminate shards to actually Thank upgrade carefully, it. Child. So, she's she she's how you upgrade your stuff. Right, I can't do that, but I want to see what the rest of your um dialogues about. Okay, no, nope, never mind. Right, so that tidies that up quite a bit actually. Well, I definitely know if I had picked up the ring of the admiral, I definitely would have been dead. Definitely would have been dead. 300% against Gorefest. That's a bad idea. Right, moving on. I don't think there's anything else that we really... No, there's nothing else that we really need to look up. Because we need to finish up Earth first. So that's going to be fun. So guys, as, as I said, I hope you all enjoyed. I'm actually loving being back into Remnant from the Ashes. So, I am. so guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. And guys, I shall see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>